There's not a lot of conversation about the disadvantages of being attractive. One, as a woman, you will have a hard ass time making friends. I've met people who gravitate towards me because I'm attractive because they think in proximity they will get some of my privileges. I've had friends that cut me off out of the blue for literally no reason. I have friends that have told me to humble myself. It's gonna be hard to date. I've met men who just want to be with me to be a trophy. I didn't know that about you. What do, what do you know? That you're a musician. So that's why I'm interviewing you today, so I can get to know you. So I'm a musician. Mm -hmm. What the fuck that mean? Make magic or something? What is musician? I think that's, I think you're confusing that. Yeah, I'm not no musician. I, I make music. I make I, music. I, and that's not all I do. I make music. I act. I'm a TV star too, a young mom. Uh -huh. I, just really quick, I think you're confusing I'm not confusing nothing. I was unfaithful. You were married to your husband, but you were having children with other men. I was. He raised them as his own and knew them to be his own until the divorce. He ended up unhoused. And the first man that I had the affair with was is now, is now my boyfriend, um, the father of my first child, my son. And uh, he was my husband's assistant manager. So he started bringing this guy around and I made I made the first move, of course. I feel like I just sensed his kindness. I mean, still to this day, this. Back at it again. I don't know what time it is. We back at it again. Um, is this your podcast, man? Yeah. It was rocking. It was, we was cutting up last night. Yeah, no face, no trace. Yeah, you know I mean, but, but did not forget the dream button. Damn. <laughs> we was out here working. Yeah, well, we was working. Not even know we wasn't working. <laughs> It's all good. Good though, because yeah. we're gonna run that episode next week, so we good. Yeah, ain't nobody, ain't nobody gonna miss nothing, man. Yeah. We gonna keep, we gonna keep it moving. We, we got T. Look at T. T, what's up? Beautiful T in the building. What's up? Well, we got my man. Ooh, ooh, what's up, man? That's what I'm talking about, Doc. You ain't miss nothing. You'll see it. We 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 had a little technical difficulty that we didn't even know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, but the show the show still was fire. Yeah. Hey, ooh, the shit was fire. We're going to see. Yeah, I mean, but we're going to drop that next week, man. We can, we can consider that as tape delayed. Right. Uh, exclusive. <laughs> yeah. Behind the scenes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, T cutting up last night. Acting crazy. Acting bad. That's what yeah, I mean. I, I, What? Acting bad. Talking about, did I say something inappropriate? Uh, the fans <laughs> will let you know that. In about a week. The fans. Yeah. Well, let's hit that introduction, man. Again, welcome to This Joint Podcast. As usual, we got a great show for you tonight. Our viral videos. As my man Ooh would say, always fire. We appreciate it. Enjoy the show. I hit that like button as Lights. you come in. Let yeah, me hit that subscribe button. Subscribe. Getting greasy, huh? Yeah. And we need them comments too, because y'all be y'all oh, yeah. yeah. be tripping in the chat. And we, we that just adds to the you know to the energy of our show. So I want our YouTube comments to match the energy that our Instagram comments be. Instagram comments be on fire, boy. They be yeah. in that joint going at it. I like damn. Maybe a movie They're going ham on us. <laughs> yeah, I said, "What we got, man? We should. We are we kicking this off, man? Do I got everything set up? Let me, let me make sure I got everything set up here. Yeah, let me make sure get that first one ready. I mean, what's up, bro? We going? Are we starting this something now? Or are we going to wait for people to come in? What are we doing? What time it is. We listen. They should know. Time waits for no man. That's what I'm talking about, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's this jump podcast. Oh, let's go. There's not a lot of conversation about the disadvantages of being attractive. One, as okay, a woman, tell us. you will have a hard ass time making friends. I've met people who gravitate towards me because I'm attractive. You do got some pretty ass eyes, though. In proximity, mm. they will get some of my privileges. I had friends that cut me off out of the blue for <laughs> literally no reason. Well, I have friends that told me to I'm going out of the myself. baby. <laughs> it's going to be hard to date. I've met men who just want to be with me to be a trophy. I've had boyfriends who have not been able to deal with the amount of attention mm. I get and therefore take it out on me. I've been stalked. I've been followed home. I've been stalked by ex-boyfriends. I've been groped. I've been graped. I've oh, been so assaulted. Ooh. I've been through a lot because I'm attracted. It's not for the weak. And when people talk about pretty privilege, yes. I will get a free meal. I will get free entry. I will get uh, preferential I bet treatment. You'll complain a lot about of that. times I don't have to so, pay for so stuff. Do so many That's other great. Things, so stop. But 
I wouldn't say it's comparable to the amount of detriments being attractive has put me in. Lord knows I'm very I'm sure you don't want to be unattractive. Care. I was about to say, do you want to be <laughs> ugly? <laughs> yeah. Space, but it has definitely made life a bit more challenging. When you are Come an attractive on, person, especially an attractive woman, you will need to walk around and protect yourself physically, mentally. But I think everyone every should do that. From everyone, because they will be attracted to you. <sighs> they will be coming for different reasons and you're gonna have to be able to keep them away. As a woman who's attractive, you need to learn how to defend yourself. I am in the gym. Every woman should be doing strong that. Strong as fuck in case somebody walks up on me, they're gonna get you. need to learn how to read people. You need to pay attention to your surroundings. You need to not get gas late at night. You need to be on your 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 test case. You need to be extremely intelligent. I once had someone pretend to be a business, sent me an email saying that they would fly me and my brand, I have a swimsuit Girl, line, to another know, country yeah. to do a photo shoot. Everything mm. seemed extremely legitimate. How? They even sent photos of other women that will be attending the event. They fucked up because one of the women in the photos is someone I know. I messaged them. They had no idea what I was talking about. This but if you hire an agent to cover that for you, you wouldn't have to worry about that. Get yourself an agent. To do God knows what with me. This is what you get for being attractive. <laughs> you know, uh, shit, that's better than being unattractive, I'm, I, I guess. You know what I mean? If you're going to have those problems, man, you, yeah, you got you to deal with them. Shut your ass up. Shut up. Okay? I understand it's pretty privileged. Shut, shut up. Okay? Some of the stuff, I get it. Yeah, man, could be a little bit, you know. We could much. be extra. I get it. But come on now, like you just you just act like you you like you homeless and like life is just terrible because you you pretty. Do you want to yeah. be ugly? I'm sure she don't want to be dumbass baby hairs on your head. <laughs> just get put your regular hair in. That maybe 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 you won't be as attractive. Put put your regular hair. Use your regular hair every day. Puffy, oh, sweaty, oh. whatever it is. Like come on with this. She tripped. I mean, again, I I understand I mean, some of it, but. Come on now. Like, she has act like every man is a predator. She going outside. She rolling on the ground like she in the military to get to the damn market to get some bread. Like, come on. Like, is this really like a, <laughs> like a, a, she a, a in real combat. Issue? I mean, listen, I, I say this, man. Those sound like some good problems. Those sound like some good problems because I'm sure there is a lot. Wilderbeast and ain't getting no attention. But, I mean, come on, you know what some men meant. Ben hit anything, bro. Right. I know. You better hit anything. Dog. You catch a man on that on that right night. But nigga don't pay. Boy, you getting bounded. Again, I understand it, but like you yeah. she just went to the extreme. I understand the grape thing. I understand the assault thing. I get all of that. Cause some guys could be doing too much. But she made it seem like she she on disability because she pretty. Yeah, I can't yeah. work because I'm so pretty that guys are just falling out in the middle but of the then, street. But now just as I said earlier, if you get get yourself an agent, get yourself a manager, then you have to worry about at least limiting some of those shady backdoor practices of you know trying to lure you out the country. You know what I mean to do them do them things to you. I already know that that's the finesse. I want, it's hump day, so nineteen ninety eight genuine baby hairs. Yes, <laughs> no, they were standing up too. Dog. Do you see them? No, oh, she was doing too. She, she ain't lay them down. She ain't lay them down no, hard enough. No, hers was they was fugazi. <laughs> you need some more. You need some more gel, baby boo. You need to just chill. Get you just some regular joints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like I said, on that to protect yourself. Yeah, I, I, I can see that. I can see that. Going to the gym, I mean, going to the gym to try to get yourself stronger to protect yourself, I don't know. Uh, still get knocked out. I mean, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Don't be out there trying to fight a man. Go get yourself a license to carry. <laughs> you can lift every weight in the gym. That one sucker punch to the chest, you're that going one. down. So, <laughs> night, that one night, night. <laughs> right. So, you got to chill. Get you a license to carry some mace. What is it? Bear pepper spray or whatever. Yeah, I mean, what, what's the tasers or something like that? Get them a taser. Them. Put it on your keychain. Yeah, that woman, stop going out and spending all that money for these. Stanley mugs, man. Get yourself a a, a taser. Right. You can hit a Negro from from ten yards away. <laughs> Keep him right off you. <laughs> this your podcast. God damn it. Yeah, you know I'm saying. Make sure you uh drop a comment. Tell us what you think. You're on the track. You yeah. I be Listen, I'm a, I'm gonna be one thousand percent honest on this microphone. 
if I was six foot seven, <laughs> it wouldn't be no problems with me. Oh man, it's it's just hard being tall. I can't find jeans. I don't give a damn. <laughs> okay, I, I wear high waters every day. If I was six, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm five foot seven barely. <laughs> so I'll take them tall problems. Oh, man, two. Let's I'm go. Deuce, man. Yeah, man. The peanut. Kick it off. It's this man. podcast. Oh. Let's go. Y'all wanna know what I mean? I keep cheating on you. Tell us. Why we keep cheating? Don't hate me. That so long. I don't hate me though. That person. man keep cheating on you because your childish ass won't give him no threesome. Oh, give him a threesome for his birthday. <laughs> you think you give a fuck about them motherfucking Jordans? No, no. <laughs> No. I don't even play ball no more. <laughs> and y'all know y'all don't be wanting to cut the check for a nigga birthday. Y'all ain't spending no real rest like niggas doing y'all. Give me a threesome. Come on. Speak the gospel in this Bro, world. Bitch. <laughs> Shame the devil. <laughs> Speak the gospel on this, All right, then. On this right Wednesday then, evening. Right there, dog. Listen, she said, get that man. My birthday is Sunday. Listen. Get that man a what? That man threesome. Yeah, man. Get that man. Now, yeah, my birthday in the summertime, too. Uh, listen. Rooftops. You hear that T? Get that man a threesome. Get that get that man <laughs> again. <clears throat> uh birthday is Sunday. Super Bowl Sunday. Ooh. So uh Ooh. you know, the game come on a little late. <laughs> well, that's perfect, man. Is the game go that's off. Perfect. Game get started. Yeah. <laughs> Hit me in the DM. All right. hey, protect that woman at all oh. at all costs. Gospel on this 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 lovely evening. Mm. Come on. That's yeah. it. She said, you know y'all don't cut no checks. I don't need to check. Nope. I don't want that. <laughs> Jordan, I don't even play basketball right. like that no more. Yeah, no more nope. Man. Yeah, no. I mean, I, I, I wear shoes and boots now. Yeah, I don't need none of that. Now, that, that first thing she was talking about. <laughs> yeah, so do you want these red bottoms? Do I want that black bottom? <laughs> Brown bottom. Yes. <laughs> I want that big bottom. What's sexy? Now, nah, I don't I don't, I don't, don't bang with sexy red, but... For my birthday, what she says, she want that that thing pink and that other thing brown. <laughs> let me get that. Let me let me get that. Let me get let me get two for one. Let me, get, let me get two of those. Let me get to buy one get one free. She boy, Listen, she ain't never lied. This your podcast, man. Listen, she said don't they don't that they don't save them either. <laughs> Sometimes it do. <laughs> I'm getting tired of her. I'm about to get wait. She, she coming in? <laughs> Y'all here for me? Tell us what you <clears> think. <throat> Woo. This joint podcast, Philly all day, man. Two on five is where hey. we're from. You know, hey man, one day we had to open up some meat bill, something like that. Uh, listen, you know, man, yeah. some some what what's the, uh, what what's the boy? Yeah, I just want to rock, body yada up. Come what? on, T, you got to show us. You said yeah. T not do that shit. Listen, hey, you got to stay. That's how you stay youthful. <laughs> listen, I need her name too. I'm trying to follow. I'm trying to see what she. I mean, uh, she was cool, but she got to get rid of that Rapunzel weave. I, I ain't with all that. She she was brushing that thing down to her ankles. You heard all that shit kink up. Didn't you? That just sound like Velcro. <laughs> that that just sound like Velcro tearing apart. Hey, <laughs> shot got this thing set up, man. You know we can go in on them. You know, before we get started, man. Yo, I was a friend of mine. Y'all Philly people always always joking on people. I say, yo, let me tell you something, dog. You gotta laugh to keep from crying. Yeah, if you from Philly, man, everybody from Philly know how to bust. If you don't know how to bust, you, you get grinded. Yeah, you gonna you gonna probably be fighting. Cause, <laughs> yeah, that's how it works here. <laughs> Let's slide to that next one. It's this jump podcast. Oh, yeah. let's go. Don't you know they be wanting you to beef with their baby moms and dads because they still fucking them? Oh, really? You ever wonder why they don't want to let you meet them? You ever wonder why they always get highly upset when y'all get cool or maybe y'all want to follow each other on social media or they get mad when the baby and mom or baby dad don't beef with you? That's because God forbid you get cool with them, then they won't have access to do the things that they want to do with them anymore. Like, have you ever noticed that? And this is for the people with baby moms and baby dads and that are in that situation where you like, damn, maybe she not as bad as he was making her seem or damn, bull seem like he all right. Why was she making it seem like he was the worst? Because she's still fucking him. Of course you can't be okay. cool with him. Of course you can't get cool with her. And then God forbid they ear all the dirty laundry out. Then you fi then you figure out they weren't the bad person in a relationship. It was the person that you was with. You'll figure out that they wasn't even the one that left. The baby mom or the baby father was the one that left because you dealing with a fucking psycho. 
Of course oh, they don't want you to get close. Of course they don't want you to be friends. Don't you know that proper conduct fears no exposure? Why can't we be one happy family? Why not? As they still fucking them. Am I lying? <laughs> well, damn. Use a goddamn lie. Now, you know what? Now I have ran into something like that. It was it was, it was my my ex, when I was married, my ex wife at the time. Oh, she would grind her ex up. I'm talking about she was grinding, but then me and him became cool. And I'm like, yo, that boy he ain't like that. And then our marriage went to shit. <laughs> Listen, my daughter's mom, she can grind me up all day because guess what? It ain't a chance in hell. Whatever woman, she ain't never. Now, one thing for ever sure. Ever got to worry about. I can't see how people get back with their exes or baby mamas or, or baby daddies. Because see, with me, I got a model. Once it's done, I'm done. You know what I'm saying? I, I never go backwards. Yes. I, I don't know. Maybe in his situation or whatever he had going on, I guess that was the thing. But it's a nizzo for me, dog. I'm 1,000% I'm straight. Yeah. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. You, 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 wouldn't, you wouldn't go back? Not if my life depended on Damn. it. <laughs> Send me to state room. <laughs> so, CJ, go back or go to prison. Well, well I'm already in the gym six days a week. Huh? Transition for me. They get booked on. Shit, he ain't gonna get back. Uh, no, the no, thank you. <laughs> now, shout out to that lady. I ain't got no issues with her. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> nah, like I said with me, man, once once it's over for me, I'm, 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 I'm done with. But uh, like I said, I was on that side of the coin where it was like, well, what? You know what I mean? What, what's up with the boy? You know what I mean? Because you really like grinding him up. But again, like when I got to know him, he, he really ain't that bad. And then came to find out she was the one who was bad. All right. They be trying to trying to make the other person look bad. In all reality, they be the weird ones or the, the stupid ones. So it'd be like, and you were just trying to finesse me because you, uh, you mm -hmm. were trying to throw the wool over my eyes and make me think that this was the person. And all the while, it was your dumb ass. Yeah, for sure. Listen. It's, it's a no for me. Like, yeah, that ain't my situation. I don't know what he, what he used to, but sorry you went through that, brother. <laughs> yeah. Hey, listen, I need you to drop a comment. Drop a like. Tell us what you think. Subscribe. Throw them yeah. comments up. This joint podcast. Man, let's get that peanut. Man. It's this joint podcast. Aww. Let's go. I didn't know that about you. Oh, that's look at look at look. You're a musician. <laughs> look at Sakiana. That's why I'm interviewing you today, so I can get to know you. So I'm a musician. Mm -hmm. What the fuck that mean? Make magic or something? What is musician? I think. Damn. That's, I think you're confusing me. <laughs> yeah, I'm not no musician. Damn. I make music. This I make single music. creature is true. That's not all I do. I make music. I act. I'm a TV star too. A young mom. Uh huh. I just really like. I think you're confusing. I'm not confusing nothing because I, you you don't know. I, you thought that all I was was a magician or whatever the fuck you said. See, that's what I think you think I said. No, I said musician, I not what, magician. I don't think, baby. But I don't think. Is she? What is yeah, that? I, clearly. I don't think. I know. So you you think? I didn't say magician, Suki. I said musician. And I think what you are a musician. What the fuck, what the fuck really, was that? So you just really, just really quick. For the record, could you say you don't think you're a musician? I'm not none of that. But then after that, you just said, I do music. Yeah, I do music. So, in other yeah. words, you're a musician. No, I'm not. Okay. Yo, she clearly, listen, she clearly can't be that stupid, dog. That has to be a skit to me. It has to be. Because if it's not a skit, then, then Charleston White was right. It, I saw an interview, man. Charleston said, all these rappers are dumb as a motherfucker. So, dumb as a motherfucker. And you, now, when I see shit like that, yeah, yeah. Again. You cannot be that dumb, man. I, I think Sugiana is very beautiful. She's a very beautiful woman to me. But she is a terrible representation of just women, <laughs> period. Like, again, if this, this be my thing. Like, if you a normal celebrity doing your normal thing, whether you a mm -hmm. singer, or entertainer, comedian, or whatever, whatever your thing is, cool. She has too many of these moments. So, like, even if she was too trolling... Many. It doesn't matter because when you in London talking about you getting your coochie scratched, Stretch. just 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 out in the open with people around, like why wouldn't we think that you dumb enough to not know the difference between musician and, and magician? <laughs> and so it's like even if she's trolling, it's like sis, you have had so many retarded moments. Like come on, come on, man. It's just like oh my gosh, you already let this white girl 
into the culture to interview all our people with her dry humor or whatever. And then on top of that, you saying it to her and then in front of her probably white audience, oh yeah, I'm not none of that. And what I want ladies to understand, please, when somebody asks you a question, asks you a question, all these movements, that just mean you dumb as fuck. That's that's what they mean to us. You dumb, you ain't got no answer. For words. all of that, that's stupid. <laughs> that shows stupidity. Like, use your words. Pronunciate. Enunciate. Just, like, say something. You can say, I don't know. But just all this in the head and, the, like, come on. And, and again, Suki yeah. Ana, like, it, it's just like it all just is it's just all messed up. The name, yeah, you over here saying dumb stuff. Like, come on. And you got kids. You're just run shit off. Fucking oh, my gosh. Yeah. You you are right, Ooh. So these rappers lost the art of studying the game, no future without the past. It's, oh. it's not even music anymore, man. It's, it's just like you you do anything for, for, for validation. Mm -hmm. yeah, validation is the new drug. People don't even care about money no more. It's just literally, let me do whatever will give me clicks and likes and views. And it's like, huh? Like, What? So again, she has children at home. If her daughter comes up and say, "Mom, you don't know the difference between a musician, a, a, a magician, and a musician," so what's she gonna say? No, girl, I was playing around or whatever. <laughs> nah, mom. <ma. laughs> nah, look. Because <laughs> if you really don't know, then you just sitting there dumb. Uh, girl, yeah, I know what a musician is. Yeah, the little man with the with the hat that do the disappear like. Girl, sit, no. now, she, now she in front of her daughter doing all this. <laughs> I know my mom cannot be this motherfucking stupid. On, like, nah, man. I have said in the past, man, that I I truly believe these female rappers now are industry plants, dog. I mean, her, I'm sorry, man. That yeah, low said it. Her, I, them, a couple of them. Her, of course, sexy red. Um, oh my god, yeah, industry like. plant, man. That that's an industry plant. I mean, Suki has a song called Hennessy and Plan B. Like, come on. She just went viral not too long ago because she was in her car taking a plan B and she like, oh, I don't know if it's if it's been 72 Listen. hours and it's just like, sis, Look, come I, on. I do on. want, what's the song? What's the chick? Um, like her most famous song. It's damn female rapper name. Uh, the one that uh, you think you a munch. Ice Spice. Um, then something like, oh, you the shit, fart. Again, rap used to be on a sixth grade level, like a, six, a sixth grade comprehension level rap now is probably on a kindergarten level. <laughs> Com comprehension level uh, they don't rap ops pops shots on the block with the cops <laughs> i'm telling you this is an art fart <laughs> art. Right. It's a podcast man so yeah, hey, make sure you drop a like drop a comment and tell us what you think yes definitely keep them comments coming yes keep them coming yeah i mean let's hit that video number number five peanut it's this jump podcast <laughs> Oh, let's go. I was unfaithful. You were married to your husband, but you were having children with other men. I was. He raised them as his own and knew she them to be his own shit, until the divorce. He ended up unhoused. And the first man that I had she the affair with was, is, now, is now my boyfriend, um, the father of my first child, my son. And uh, he was my husband's assistant manager. So he started bringing this guy around. Well, and I made, I made the first move. Of course. I feel like I just sensed his kindness. I mean, still to this day. You sense his kindness. This man that I'm with is the kindest, most patient man I've ever met. But one day he came over to my house without my ex-husband there. And you know what happened next. Sucked and we only saw each other once a week to do this because of how my schedule, my ex-husband's schedule, like and his guess. schedule. But the second affair, who the man is the father of my daughter, he actually worked with me this time. He was my maintenance guy at my evening job. Well, well, damn. Again, she's always a kind man who was nice genius. to me. And then with my daughter, she's systemic. Um, so she came out a little more tan than the both of us. And just as she grew up, just kept that tan skin. And still, she looks so much like me. He was just like, yep, she looks like my wife. And here we are with three baby daddies and two kids. So yeah, it's been wild. Well, well goddamn. So the first husband... She cheated on him, took the house. He became homeless. See, that's the reason why men don't get married nowadays, dog. You know what I mean? You fucking lose. Hey, boy, you you losing everything. Wife, kids, shirt on your back, your crib. He should have never trusted her with that nut ass overbite. He should have known. He should have known. 
she looking real androgynous. You know, I don't know if she was male or female. She, she got me tight because she <laughs> she's doing the most purple hair. He should have known whoever that man was. He made a mistake. Okay, she is hit. That overbite, I, he probably was good, glad you was gone because you didn't probably one time hit his ah, you know, with that overbite and he was like, look, man, she for the streets, I just let her do hey, her thing. Man, maybe she, maybe she was corkscrewing him. The maintenance guy. That she, got, she had the first husband's assistant with. She said uh, his, his the manager or something. The maintenance guy. Then she had a Spanish, a Spaniard. Which man was he more Mexican? El Bongo. Yeah. She went to regular bong, then the second bong bong, yeah. and then El Bongo. But maybe off that that was the second husband's. First of all, man, <laughs> how are you marrying somebody? How are you marrying? You're not supposed to marry a cheater. Th- that right there is a no no. So hit. Like at the end of the that's day. Gonna be, that's gonna be a quick hit. In and out. No, they are, this is the kindest man I've ever met. Girl, get your ass out of here. Like <laughs> first of all, I mean, if if you're gonna hit. A married woman, man, get your pumps in, man. Get your pumps in, <laughs> pumps in and that's pump. it. Dog. Yeah, you gotta get them pumps in. I'm out. You yeah. got you, she gives off very masculine vibes. I mean, this little still picture that I'm looking at right now, it look a little Adam's appley to me. Yeah, see that little thing poking out. Yeah. Hey, but right. she said, but she said she had children. Yeah, that's what she told us. <laughs> oh shit! No disrespect to that to the community, but I don't know. She look a little. <laughs> T, you're exactly right. That's the reason why women, why men don't trust women exactly. nowadays. Why men don't marry. What is the man gaining when this woman can be a whole, full fledged, <clears throat> excuse me, 1000% grade A premium whore? That's what she was. And she got a house and this and a di- like. So, what is the purpose? That man, I don't know. He probably never marry again. She probably killed Marathon. Listen, that one, he is mentally, he, he mentally he, he, tortured. He, listen. He, yeah, I mean, he completely. She messed him up. So it's like, yeah, what, what is the point of me doing all of this if mm-hmm. I can get cheated on, have kids had on me, and then I still and then I, I still end up homeless? Yeah. Well, guess what? We both going to be homeless because this house mysteriously oh, just man, went up in front. I'm going to let you know right now. You know? Man, if I'm married and you take everything off, the shirt off my back, Oh, I'm burning that shit down. Listen, <laughs> ain't nobody living in this house. Right eye, <laughs> left eye, burnt that house down. <laughs> hey, flames. Does be like, Mr. Stanley? Did you? Yeah, I burnt. If I can't have it, nobody will. I mm-mm. nobody. I ain't I'm burning, burning that motherfucker down to the ground. I ain't burning down, Your Honor. Listen, a lot. She asked me to. She, she asked me down. to uh, get there to, uh, you know, take care of the, the house, and I just told him to make sure the gas was on. I ain't know that he actually left. Duh. It left it unhooked and it just blew <laughs> away. She's screwing the maintenance man. That's what I'm saying. She called 911 to make the cop come. Literally. <laughs> yeah, she is sleeping with the pool boy. She was probably on. Um, yeah. She was probably making porn hub videos. Yeah, I mean, a nymphomaniac. She she probably straight nympho. She bongo, the regular bongos. <laughs> like she's for the streets. Let her be for the streets. Podcast, man. Yeah. Drop a like, drop a comment. Tell us what you think. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Make this- sure I like, comment, subscribe. That's right. What we at? All right. Damn. Was that number five? Damn, we coming in number six, man. Damn, this is, we only got like six of these joints loaded up. Tonight, man. Time for fun. That's something, boy. I'm telling you, man. I can't. I can't wait to that 100th episode. That's like a month. Like a month. Maybe wait, we pumping these joints out. Might, might be less than that. Listen, man. It seems like we're doing two episodes a week now. All right. Hopefully, it'll be a little warm. <laughs> we'll have a little party. Yeah, <laughs> a little party. Body out of Let's go. Fish Jump Podcast. Aww. Let's go. Tinder date was not that she had to there split the go. bill. There we go. What'd you say? Why are we splitting the bill? Well, I mean, it's our first date, so I thought we should maybe go hot. Why is he like so scared? I can't believe you made us split the bill. I mean, you ordered an appetizer that I didn't even touch. Why do you think that I should okay, pay for Okay, but you it? asked me out. I know, but you ordered something. You that I seem like we always out. run into this right here, though. I'll just take you home and... All right, see ya. Hello? Hello? See ya. Oh my god. 
All I'm going to say is, one, if I ask a girl out, I'm buying, period. Two, why was he so scared? See, this is, see, this is shit that I'm like, man. Say what you got to say. That sound like, that looked like some passive aggressive type shit. You know what I'm saying? Stop being scared, man. Say what you got, man. Get your, <laughs> stick your chest out, man. Be a man about it. Nah, <laughs> listen here, skeeza. You're going to pay half of this shit tonight. If I feel like I ain't getting no skins tonight, guess what? You pay half. Let's see, man. This is why they got, <clears throat> excuse me. This is why they got to bring back Paige. They gotta you come got back. straight to the chase. Because these dudes like him, now again, I'm not in the blasting people and people on blast on the internet and all of that. Nah. That ain't my thing. These type of dudes need to go on. Like, they should have an Instagram page that's called Broke First Daters. <laughs> yeah. And be put these dudes on there so that other women could know that these guys are around. And then they could just, again, my whole thing is, if you're not going to pay half for the day, just get your $40. You know, pay your $40, get your thing, and keep it moving. That's it. I don't know, because of inflation, it might be 65 now. I don't know. That's it. He's like, uh, that's sassy. The sassiest <laughs> thing you could say is, well, you that's had a sass right there. That I did not touch. What? Why are you supposed to be touching her appetizer anyway? So when she pull that appetizer out, you ain't going to be able to touch that either. <laughs> Like, come on, man. Like, come on, man. Y'all got to chill. Again, we all know. We we, we, we grown here, right? We, we, we can we speak grown, bro. Yeah, we grown. We know that men take women out for what? To get some ass, okay? It's not a secret. It's not a secret. You're taking out to get some ass. But if she can't get the apps, you think you getting ass? No apps, no ass. That's how it works. She couldn't get the appetite. She didn't even. I could see if you were. Uh, she was buying the uh, filet mignon. Or she had the uh, surf and turf. Yeah, yeah. If she was on, she was on that the site. sex side of the menu. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. When you order on we, this certain side of the menu, are we getting it in tonight? So that's my thing. Like, at the end of the day, if that was the case, then I, I okay, I still don't understand, but I, I could get it. She said appetizers. What, 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 she, what did she want? Chips and salsa? You, you can't give her the guacamole if you want to give her the guacamole? Come on, bro. You gotta chill. You gotta chill. That's why he didn't get the guac. I know. Yeah, he went home with a pocket moment. <laughs> now your pocket half empty, and your tank still full. You yeah. didn't even get the. You didn't even get to empty your tank. He had, he had the hand emoji. <laughs> Come on, man! Like these dudes, y'all gotta stop. So, and that's what I be saying. Like at the end of the day, we mess it up for each other. Women mess it up for for men because y'all want to go and spend fourteen thousand dollars on the first date. That men mess it up for women because you don't want to buy a two for 20. You're like, come on, yeah, man. You know, man, listen, man. And back in the day, man, when, when I used to take a girl out, my idea was I'm going to make sure she eat because I'm, I'm going to get her good and drunk. You know what's going <laughs> down after that. Another, after that fourth and fifth margarita. I guess it's um, yeah. sexy red. Exactly. <laughs> you waking up talking about. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> we do not condone yeah. any type of that behavior <laughs> hey. here at this joint. But, but, but you know I me, mean? some of these men nowadays, I, I, I'm telling you, man, men aren't men anymore. I mean, I know that we're hard on some of the women, but we're definitely more hard on the men because because it, it, it should be left up to you. It should, if, if you're taking a woman out, make sure you got some money in your pocket, you know what I mean, to, to spend, date her, do, do whatever. Now, if that date... Is is going to shit halfway through? Oh, I'm I'm cutting the date right there. I'm cutting it. We ain't spending no more money. I'm cutting it. Yo, I'm I'm taking you home. So I I give you a story. One time a little while back, I met this young lady. So we go to a, a restaurant uh, in Center City. It's nice. It was new. And mm -hmm. so I'm like, okay, cool. We here. Boom. We sit down. And I don't know. I don't know. Maybe she was maybe she was on like a perk or something. I don't know what, what she was on, but she was tripping. So we sat down. We could tell the waitress is new. Like she's yeah. she probably ain't been working there that long. So she asked her, oh, what is your favorite? She's like, oh, I only got about one or two things that I like. One or two things. Like You've been working here. You know, I'm like, no, what if she don't like the food? Like this might not be her type of food. OK, that was the first thing. So then I'm like, uh, you know, you want to order a drink? She's like, yeah, order a drink. So she got like. I don't know. It might have been like a martini or something. Mm -hmm. So the girl says, oh, well, we having a special on the watermelon ones. You get a watermelon one, it's half off. This girl then proceeds to say, half off? Let me get four of them. I said, whoa, wait a minute. 
what is going on? And again, it ain't about the money. I'm like, damn, <laughs> you stroking, <laughs> stroking to the left. <laughs> you about to make this easy for me. Sorry. <laughs> it's about to be easy work. Sis one. Oh man, <laughs> you remember that uh, that that part of um, "Don't Be a Menace" where the girl be in the back of the uh, truck and she be like, you know, sometimes I could get a little crazy. Oh yeah, yeah. man, that girl turned into her. <laughs> so we sitting there, we waiting for the food. She says to me, "Why the hell you ain't tell me I look, I'm pretty yet?" I said, "I'm sorry." She said, "You ain't even you ain't even compliment my looks." I said, "Well, when you first said, came in, I said, oh, you look very nice. You look you look beautiful tonight.'" Um, I'm appreciating your style. I like everything I see here. That ain't enough. Now she wanted you. F I M. I'm like, who the F are you? Oh shit. Oh shit. Terrible drunk. Yo, she yeah, started shit, fast. Drunk. I'm looking at the girls. See, so the girls new, so she ain't really paying attention to my winks. I'm, I mean, she loud. We in the, we in the restaurant. It's, not, it's late. It might be like eight people in here. The one guy, this, this this white guy, looks at me like he looking at me in terror. Like, oh my god. Like, you have to deal with her. He tried. He, he trying to give you signals. Yo, I'm sitting here. I'm like, what the hell? This girl, man, I couldn't drop her off fast enough. I got her out of there. I said, this was the date from hell. So in that situation, I still paid for the bill, but I could understand where you like, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. oh, no, you got to pay. I was scared. Listen, I ain't going to lie. I was scared to tell her, to listen, you going to pay half of this. I think she would have stabbed me or something. She was acting crazy in there. But I get in that in that scenario but like come on like other than and, that if they don't have a bad date you gotta chill yeah and she was and, on demon yeah. time she definitely switched to demon time real quick you can tell by looking at that video you can it almost seemed as if he didn't have a good time so well you know if i didn't have a good time you're gonna have to pay half oh damn you know what i mean <laughs> mate i'm still paying but i'm getting you to fuck home real quick and then if you're ignorant about it, guess what? I'm leaving you right up in here. Listen. I mean, hey, listen, this has been done before. Those was notorious for that. Oh, sh he was leaving. Man, what? Leaving the restaurant. About the girl that kept calling me up, talking about taking to the restaurant? No. Oh, man. Listen, everybody. This girl, she was, she hit me up. And I, I kept telling her, I said, yo, listen, I, I'm broke. I don't have it. Oh, come on, Lose. You know what I mean? We just go out and get something to eat. Yo, man. I ain't got it. Come on, Lose. Pressing and pressing. All right. All right, come on, let's go. I'm going to scoop you up. Where y'all go? We went to Olive Garden on, okay. uh, on City Line. Picked her up, man. I ain't want to really hit her, hit her upside the head because I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm under the assumption that she's paying the way oh. she kept pressing. So I just get me a a, a um, chef salad. You know what I mean? No, I'm sorry, a, a chicken salad. I'm, I'm eating when she, man, she go to town on the menu, bro. She, <laughs> let me get the breadsticks. Let me get the, the unlimited bread. <laughs> man, she ordering the... Um, the big shit, dog. You know, what I mean? the scampies with the the mm. steak with the butter on the garlic mm. butter on the jump. Going to town, dog. The waitress gonna bring me the bill. The waitress slide me the bill. I slide the bill to her. Oh, she talking about? Oh, I'm not paying. Oh, I said, oh, you know what? Let me go get my wallet. I left my shit in the car. <laughs> wow, <laughs> left ass right. Dined, oh. dined and dashed. Dined and dashed. Yeah, I mean, her girlfriend called me. Oh, why you do that to my girl, Fuzzy? <laughs> Fuzzy. <laughs> I ain't had no goddamn money. <laughs> that huzzy deserved it. <laughs> man, listen, man. That wasn't the only time I dined in Dash. It was, oh. a, it was another time I dined in Dash oh. in, in Florida. Oh, this when, when I used to play uh, football. We was down down Florida uh, for the All Star game, and it was like a group of us, man. It was my other teammates, man, and me, my old lady at the time, my girl at the time. We sitting there, so ooh, it was a real big party. At least about like fifty people. Well. My boy uh, Stax, his, his food never came and his girl food came late. So he was like, man, I'm not paying for this shit. You know, I'm out. And he left. <laughs> and then another couple left. And then another couple left. And that bill just kept getting bigger and bigger because people kept. I said, yo, listen, hit me. Listen, you better get on my hills. Cause guess what? Take them hills <laughs> off. <laughs> Orlando, Florida. <laughs> listen, I'm a football player. I can run fast. Come on. Oh. Follow my footsteps, baby. <laughs> you can see the sheriff's department in the rear view. <laughs> well, we was out of there. <laughs> I don't know if I could dine in dad. I, I, I don't know. I couldn't. You, do you it. never dined in dad? No, I could not do it. Have you, have you ever uh, been in the cab and jumped out the cab? No. You never done that before no. either? No. No. Come on, bro. Any? No, I just I don't know. No, I ain't never really been in no cabs. <laughs> I ain't never had to take a cab nowhere. Let's let's see. Did I ever? Damn, I, I guess I was. A the only time I ever like, cause I'm the type of person like I don't even really like 
contest anything. You ever go out with them people, and I hate going out with people like this, where they got, uh-uh, uh-uh, yeah, so that drink was flat, uh-uh. Like, I remember one time I went to Friends Fridays, they had this uh drink, it was like called the Diddy Punch. <laughs> so it had ice in it or whatever. So I'm like, um, I don't want the ice out. So the, the girl took it back, took the ice out, came back. The cup was full like this much. I'm like, uh, where's the rest of the drink? <laughs> She's like, with the ice. The ice makes it go to the top. I was like, oh no, you gotta take that back. That's the only time I've ever done that. Other than that, I'll I'll suck it up. I'll be like, oh, all right. Damn, this food wasn't that good. All right, cool. I mean, because I I got this little phobia that they may be back there spitting him yeah, up. You know listen, what I'm saying? I, I'm thinking worse. See, if he the chef, he he chefing it up. He's like, oh, the chef, they brought this back. Now he didn't just pop. <laughs> he didn't pop on oh, my pop. foot. <laughs> ah, now yeah. Put the Drake Drizzy oh, on it. Oh man, come <laughs> on, man! He didn't bop them my jaw. Oh no! So, yeah, man, he done put the Drake Drizzy yeah, on so it. So I'm like, cool. I take this. I, I just won't ever come back. But mm, hair and spit, they past that. They on some some. That's, that's they on some saying. kinky stuff now. That's what I'm saying. Now man, some, this your podcast, man. The, what was what was the most embarrassing shit that ever happened to you on a date? Uh, most embarrassing thing that ever happened to me. the first time I took I took my old lady out, man. What is the restaurant that's on um, at, at the hotel on Market Street off of Thirteenth and Market? The Lowe's Hotel. We was eating there, and you know, I'm trying to be cool and shit. You know, what I mean? I'm trying to be suave. I said if I hit my head on that motherfucking chandelier joint, dog. What? The motherfuckers at the other table was laughing at me. <laughs> my most embarrassing moment was so my brother um, back in the day he had a black Hummer, twenty eight inch rims. I mean his car was like decked out. And so one time we on South Street, riding down South Street. This is when South Street was South Street. No, I bet. Off. That damn car cut off. So he got it. He got it told. We got it fixed or whatever. Cool. I'm like, yo, I'm taking this girl out. Let me borrow. Let's switch. So I give him my car. He give me his car. We get to the restaurant. We we chilling. So I'm thinking, I'm well. Let me back up a little bit. I'm thinking, you know, I'm I'm big balling shot calling. Mm -hmm. I valet that thing. Leave that thing in the front. You can't park that nowhere. You can't put it in the garage. No, leave that thing right in the front. So people see me getting out. You know, I'm, I'm him. Yeah, I'm him. I'm him. I'm him at the. We have a good time. Cool. We leaving out. Boy, we'll throw him the key. I throw him like a little thirty dollar tip. He like, oh, I'm like night is good. Turned that, opened the door, got her in the car, got her up in there, boom. And I, you know, I'm fly. I got my, I got my gear on. You got the shit on. I go to start that thing up. That thing was like, Tuh. yeah, okay, <laughs> not tonight, <laughs> man. So again, I'm a little vertically challenged because I'm not that tall. I'm like, all right, let me just, I got to lift the hood up in front of this joint. Like people walking past, they like, damn, look at my man. Yeah, that big boy. So I lift the joint up, it go up. So I'm like, all right, it's already at my, at my neck. So I'm like, Wait, all right. He ain't looking at nothing but the envelope. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, I got to hop in this joint and see what's wrong. Man, my little dumb ass got up there. Thinking I knew what I was doing. How about my dumb ass fell off to the ground onto my back? Hey, she, she, I was going to give you some pussy tonight. Man, I, I messed that up. <laughs> yeah. I went home empty, feeling empty inside and just empty. In my she been there, not a good luck. Uh, when I got back to my brother, I, I smacked the shit out of him. I said, why would you give me this piece of trash you know don't work? It's because of you. <laughs> and, and I spent all this damn money. I, 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 we, I forget where we went. It was... It was a, a nice joint. I spent a couple dollars. Valet was fifty dollars. Gave him thirty, to, to, you know, as a tip. Hey, I'm man, listen, them go back to your man. I need that tip money, man. man I'm out here flossing. <laughs> I, I done messed up my clothes with oil. I done fell. I'm looking crazy out and she, here. And she looking at you, and you like she ain't even get out to say like you are. She everybody come rushing over. You okay? You know all the valet people, people from yeah. the hotel. I'm like I'm cool. I get up. Like, I'm cool. I'm good, man. <laughs> yeah. She just sitting there. I'm like. Bro, that was the most it, man. Listen, I have had some embarrassing. Cause she got stuck on the highway. Was, I had to spend a oh. night on the highway oh. with my date. Damn. Yeah, well, at least she was a rider though. Yeah, yeah, she was a rider. She wasn't a rider. <laughs> man, if you enjoyed the show, let us know what you enjoyed about it. What was your favorite video? 